Hello everybody, welcome back to our very long voyage in the long dark. We're in the snow shelter, it's just after sunrise and we are smelling of meat. That's probably those two um, decoys that we're carrying. Right, we have to find the wolf that we shot today. First we need to eat something. We don't want to carry any further meat with us because we're already smelly enough. We've got 2.6 litres less half a litre so we've got 2.1 litres of water on us let's get the bow out the weather is not exactly great for finding dead wolves however there's not a lot of wind running so we may be lucky and get the crows helping us With all that meat lying in the yard, I'm not leaving the gate open, taking the chance that a, a wolf's going to go in there. Come on, get up. There's no crows here. Let's get across the bridge. It's possible the dead wolf is up by that um, rail car. No crows here either. I, do, I hope the crows are out today. We need to find that wolf. He's got one of our arrows. Let's just stand here and look. There's a live wolf across there. Well, there's two dead bodies there and there's no crows above them. So the crows are not going to help us today. There is potentially a dead wolf up there. No, it's a rock. Actually, what was that I saw beyond it? Hmm. He's not down here. Careful, don't hurt your ankles, you know how fragile they are. So I'm going to make use of this slope here, get some visibility over those log piles. And that wolf is walking away from us. So I don't see the dead wolf here. The problem is, wolves almost run further than deer when they're injured. to do is go back to the dam, complete another couple of tasks, wait for the weather to clear and the crows to come out. I really would have thought that the wolf would have returned here. problem is that deer has despawned. Very likely that the wolf has as well. Just grab a couple of cattails while we're down here. And it looks like We've now lost that arrow because we didn't find the wolf quick enough. Now, can I get up here anyway? We did sort of get up here last couple of days ago. That was over here, was it? Hmm. 
No, we can't. I didn't think we could get up that bank. But it was worth a try. There is a cane there that's worth tapping, though. Story not yet written. And we do have some Raishi over here to harvest. Now, it's worth collecting some of this fur while we have the weather. to repair that hacksaw again. This pack is getting kind of heavy. Yep. No Raishi there. No Raishi there. And there's a bunch across here. Raishi here, isn't it? Looks like it. We're gonna need to eat soon. Yep. So let's just have a nosy in here, see what we left here. Because I know we left a small supply of uh, stuff here. A small supply, he says. My god, look at it all. Decent thick wool sweater, rugged thermal unders, two ski jackets, worn trail boots. Now, these foods are going to deteriorate, so... And we've even left a hunting knife there. What state's the hunting knife in? 82%, not bad. That underwear is down to 23. That's at 89. 35. 28. See, we need to get all this stuff repaired. Right, any... Cushions or anything on the... Yeah, there's a pillow. Let's just break that down. Nothing else here to get cloth from. Hey, yo. That's a new... That's a new spawn. Right, so we're going to have to do something about getting a lot of this back to the camp office. But that's going to be a separate trip, I believe. And there's more Raishi. Have they just spawned in? Wow. Loads of metal in here for us to harvest, including loads of cloth. Six cloth there. And there's another new spawn. I need anything right about now. So it looks like the goodies do respawn after a time. Because we did strip this office very thoroughly. Right, let's go back and get something to eat. Shame we couldn't find that wolf though. But we definitely need the crows to find him. And if the two deer that we harvested have despawned, that wolf is definitely going to despawn today. There's 
nothing left to cook, but we can drop the, the wood here. Keep those few sticks to repair the snow shelter. Take that bit of meat and need it. Need a drink. Right, let's just go and see how our bits that we've harvested are doing in terms of curing. Because they were one of the main reasons. Them, the, the metal and the animal parts and the saplings were one of the main reasons we came down here. One of them. All of the main reasons that we came down here. Oh, didn't mean to do that. Right, so we need another two days here to get the maple saplings cured, but I'm not worried about that. We've got so much stuff here, it's unreal. Including more toolkits. There's a toolkit across in the the cabin, just outside the, the, the yard gate as well. It's going to be a real pain getting all of this stuff back. Right, so... Do we need to harvest leather? Those boots are not as desperate for a repair and we don't have anything else on us that needs leather. But it's probably worth taking some of the shoes back with us when we go. However, that won't be tonight because we're already tired enough that we're losing carrying capacity. And we've got to get all the metal back as well. Um... We can't have a fire inside, so let's take this wood out. Leave the, the paper and books here, though. And we'll drop the, the wood over here. First of all, the recycled wood goes down there. Then we step backwards. Drop the sticks there. Step backwards again. Drop the cedar here. And this weather is definitely not going to give us any crows today. Absolutely not. I'm not even sure it's worth trying to start the fire today with this wind. Even though this is a fairly sheltered spot. Um, way too early in the day to be hiding out in this snow shelter. Uh, yeah, the snow shelter. So... I think what we might do is go search the dam for some more cloth. We'll just go and have a look upstairs, see if there's any up there. I don't believe... well, there's a, a two-cushion chair there, but uh, two and a half hours to break it down. And there's another one there. We'll leave those for when we're more desperate. Lots of stuff to break down for metal here, of course. Single cushion chair, single cushion chair. No other cloth. Apart from anything else, I'd prefer to get the cloth from further away. Can't remember if there's any in the upstairs office. Single cushion chair, two single cushion chairs. Another two. Whole bunch of them around here. A 
these are all singles, that's a single. Right, so there's, there is nothing up here. Yeah, we're fully aware of that, Mark. He's going to need a really good night's sleep tonight because we're going to be carrying a lot of stuff back in the morning. And there's nothing down here. Okay, so um, we're going to need to feed him, give him a drink, and get, and get into the snow shelter. We'll be able to get some of that research done as well as the repairs. Actually, did he pick meat up? He did. What I'll do, I'll put that one there in front of the door. Right, we'll just sit in here. How much clothing have, uh, cloth have we got? We've got 10 pieces of cloth. Um, let's just check our clothing. Those socks need a repair. Okay. Um. These gloves need a repair. Hat needs a repair. I will do a repair on these ones. I'm getting weaker. Yeah. Right, and we'll try and get an hour on that. Too tired to, to research. Okay, thought as much. The weather is awful. So let's eat that kilo. Take a drink. We want him to get the best rest possible, so let's drink a tea. Top off with water and I'm gonna sleep for ten hours. day 67. It's still dark. Grab that venison, which is why I put it there. Eat half of it. Take a drink. Too dark to see anything in the dam, so it's not worth going out, but it might be light enough to do a research. And if it is, let's have two hours on it. Too dark to read. Okay. So what time is it? It's half an hour to an hour before sunset. We could still do with some more rest. Give him another hour. That 
that is horrible weather out there. Let's try and read a book for an hour. See if the weather's going to improve. Certainly it'll be lighter. It's misty. It's probably cold out as well. Minus five, yeah. But the crows are back. More importantly, we've got several sets of crows, so we may just be able to find that wolf. There's a set off to our left. set over the dead guy, isn't it? Yeah. Well, we'll just do the same run that we did yesterday. the crows over the dead guys. There is a set to our left somewhere. the other dead guy down here. There's too many persistent corpses around here. I think we have lost that arrow because we're never going to find the wolf. Unless we stumble across them by accident up here somewhere. That's kind of disappointing. I was really hoping that we could have got our arrow back, but hey. There's another set down there somewhere. Might go back that way to see if we can find them. It's more his skin for um, crafting the wolf skin coat that I'm th thinking about. Not worried about uh, meat and stuff. Right, time to load up and get back to the camp office. All of the firewood and stuff we leave there for the next visit here. Um, I'm tempted to even leave a couple of kilos of meat here. So I think what we'll do, just for consistency, um, we'll.
Drop those two kilos here. Now, we've got a half kilo on us. Just eat that, get it down. Want to carry that. Carry that, carry that. Gonna dismantle the snow shelter. Going to drop all them sticks here. Plenty of firewood for the next visit. We've got 30 pieces of metal across there, so... Too much stuff to carry. That should be 15 pieces. It is, which is three kilos. You can see we're overweight already. I'm gonna start moving some of this food stuff back to the camp office because otherwise it's gonna spoil. If it's below 80%, I'm gonna take it back. Leave that one here. Take that one. Leave that one here. Take that one. Take that one. Take that one. We leave that one. Put it up here with that one. Take that one. that one soda we can afford to leave here soda doesn't spoil very easily that one rather. We'll take that one. We'll take those ones. Right. We'll just move that flare down so that the two of them are together. And leave that down there with the small tools. We've got two bottles of lamp oil here. them there. That's fine, let's just thin that out a little bit. Now we need to take our saplings with us. We'll take the cured gut with us. We'll leave the curing ones here. This is just to keep our um, scent low. We have no spare 
Tooks. Back at the camp office. We'll leave the two decent ones here. We'll take the two worn ones. Um, that ruined baseball cap is purely for harvesting. Um, ruined fleece mitts. Mitts. There for harvesting. Decent ski gloves, decent jeans, worn light shell, ragged sports vest. Worn, ragged, decent, decent. Take them back for harvesting. Take the ragged ones back for harvesting. Take them back for harvesting and those. Take the flashlight back as well. Could end up being useful. And 100% pry bar. So, how's that for load? Touch under 40 kilos. We could carry a little bit more, but I want to get a bit of movement speed on. Um, we've got two lanterns here. We've only got one at the camp office. That one's empty. Well, we'll take Feels the like a lot of gear. Take the empty one with us. Because that's lighter. Right, so that leaves this lot set for the next visit. We could do with something to eat and drink. We eat half of that. Take a drink. That should put us back under the 40 kilos. Let's head back. Not quite midday. And in fact, what we need to do is we're already getting a little bit long with this episode. So what I'll do is I'll just dive into that cabin across there, create a save point, and we'll end the episode here. As always, please check the the video description. There you'll find links to my um, Discord, Facebook, Patreon, Twitter and Twitch. Follow me across there as well, please. And give the video a like. Subscribe to me here on YouTube. None of this costs you anything. And it helps me immensely. And it'll let you know when I've got new videos or new stream live streams on Twitch. And I'll love you forever if you do that. So, from me, as always, have a great day. I'll see you in tomorrow's episode. Thanks for watching, and bye for now.